These are three varying field rations and a self-heating meal used by the Republic of China or Taiwanese Armed Forces. Field ration type A, B, and C, and the field heating lunchbox. It weighs one pound, 11 ounces, or 788 grams. The menu is pork curry. Thing's really heavy. I believe it only contains 250 calories, which we'll find out exactly what makes this so heavy for so low a calorie content. It has a built-in flameless ration heater, and I believe it also includes water for the heater. Field ration A, B, and C each weigh approximately one pound, 3.5 ounces, or 553 grams. The type C is like 561 grams. It's a little bit different. We're gonna check out each one of these and the self-heating meal on a 24-hour set. Let's first start off with the type A for breakfast. Yeah, look at that on the front. That's the emblem of the Ministry of National Defense. The anchor, wings, rifle, and saber indicate each branch of the Taiwan military. It's pretty nice. A Ziploc enclosable seal. The energy gel. That provides 180 calories, not bad. Feels like it weighs at least a few ounces. And these are probably ginger candies. They are hard candies. Again, likely ginger, you get four of them. Hey, look at that. That is a pork jerky. A pack of dried cranberries, it's 15 grams, it's not much. And you get these little energy bars, three of those, 13 grams each, they're very light. Milk biscuits, perfect for breakfast. And that's a little pack of chocolate syrup, 19 grams. And that's a moist towelette. You know, that's quite the variety of stuff for 1,457 calories. All right, let's get sat on your tray. Nice. Okay, let's first start off by checking out a biscuit. They almost smell artificial, like an artificial vanilla dairy. Hmm. There is dried milk powder, a little bit of egg, and again, vanilla or vanillin, you know, I can't tell. Total of 14 biscuits, 24 gram packs each. I'll save a pack. Okay, so the dried cranberries. They smell like craisins, just a generic sweetened cranberry. The pork jerky. Okay, it's extremely sticky. Listen. That was satisfying. Hmm, it has this incredible sweet, savory, smoked pork smell. It's almost like bacon or ham, actually. It's even, it's, I love ham. Hmm, this one smells like a, a sweet maple. Then for the energy bar. I think that's dried fruit. Oh wow, it has a malt smell accentuated by 
what almost seems like nutmeg and it smells amazing it smells like a donut it really does ginger candy a special drink to supply carbohydrates equivalent to a rice ball there's a slight yellowish green tinge to it it's white grape juice that's pretty much like a grape gel juice and like a gelled, more natural version of Capri Sun. This little pack of chocolate syrup. I'll just go ahead and put a little bit on varying components. Live dangerously. Oh yeah, check that out. Just a little bit of chocolate syrup on each thing. This life is all about trying new things. This is starting to look pretty gourmet. Not bad. A little bit of chocolate syrup left. It just tastes like Hershey's syrup or something. Very generic. Look at that. That's a beautiful looking meal of sorts. Let's try out a biscuit with some of this chocolate syrup real quick. Mmm. On top of that milk biscuit, that is like chocolate frosting. And definitely a winning combination. Hmm. The smell of this energy bar is just so alluring. Again, a, a heavy amount of malt. What? Come on. It's like flavorless. It's not thirst provoking, but it just tastes like a grain biscuit with a indistinguishable dried fruit in there that's like very dull on the sweetness factor. It's like a whole grain with malt and light sugar. And it's very airy and it's not, again not thirst provoking, which is nice. The chocolate syrup, that didn't even help. That just got lost in it. it just absorbed the chocolate syrup. Speaking of chocolate syrup here, I'm gonna try some pork, like, you know, pork jerky, ham jerky, whatever. Ooh, it's like wet. Ugh, boo. Here, let's check some of this out. Hmm. And smelling it actually brings out more flavor while eating it. This is one of the weirdest things. That can't be natural. It? These things have a one-year shelf life. That field heating lunchbox, that thing's got an 18-month. Yeah, for that energy gel. Give your B vitamin complex in there. And... Quick absorption, carbohydrates, and a fair amount of water. This is great. I mean, if you had nothing else to drink, they even give you a drink so you could wash this thing down. That's really nice. And something that you could keep that in your pocket or pack and ready to, you know, have that in a pinch. If you had nothing else, I mean, or if you're on the go, that drink's the best thing. And for these cranberries. Wow, they're pretty granular. Like, the sugar isn't fully blended. I'll bet you could make a bread pudding out of these. I'm going to see if this is possible. Let me just add an extra. Yeah, it's absorbing the water. It's drawing it right in. There we go. There's egg. There's milk powder 
you could technically fry it up in a pan and make other things with it or bake it. That is bread pudding. Hmm. You leave that little bit of crunch. Yep. It's the same thing. It's like the butter biscuits out of Singapore ration accessory packets. It's like the same thing. That is how you eat these real quick without having to chase it with a bunch of water. If you got to make it fast or if you want to make a porridge or, you know, bread pudding, however thickness or consistency, you can do a lot with these. I want to thank Aaron, his wife, and his wife's niece and husband. His wife's niece's husband is in the Taiwanese army. They all helped make the A and B field ration happen. I got to thank Chun for the field C and the eating meal. He gave me a great deal. It was a collaborative effort. Let's try out a ginger hard candy. Clean the old palate. As that dissolves, the surface gets gritty. It has a spicy ginger. Even more spicy than it is sweet. That's stimulating. An excellent palate cleanser to finish off this pretty interesting little meal or food packet. This moist towelette. Hmm. Wow, that smells like the old school wet nap. That's cloth. Look at that. Nice and strong. Never mind. You'd actually get the job done with this. If you had three of them, you could clean your whole body after a long day marching around. Okay, in about three or four hours, I'm going to come back with field ration B and the field heating lunch box. Okay, and we're back with lunch. Going to set the field ration type B to the side. Let's check out this field heated lunch box. Pork curry. This thing's a supplemental meal or main course, essentially a hot supplemental main course to this. This does not make up an entire meal for the actual weight and cubic space that it takes up. Tear a notch at the top. Looks like a cardboard tray and a tiny napkin. Wow, just enough for use your imagination. Feels like nice toilet paper, it's soft. This looks like a heating bag. That's really cool. That nice water pack. This thing's heavy. There's gotta be like two or three ounces in there. Let's weigh it. 115 grams. That is four ounces of water. Here's your heating element. That thing is also very heavy. This thing weighs 2.8 ounces or 80 grams. So what is that? 6.8 ounces already for just the water and heating element. And this is your rice. Look at that. The chef pretty much letting you know you got a nice bowl of rice. Just about ready to go. You got heated up. Listen to this. And this is your main meal pouch. So there's everything laid out. Quite the spread for such a low calorie content. So let's go ahead and get this ready. You put this on the bottom. Been about 15 maybe 20 minutes that would warm you up on a cold day raging hot nice let's close it up and let's save that 
All right, let's get the saddle onto the tray. Wow, look at that thing. It's all glistening. And keep it from getting soggy. That's a nice tray. There's no scent to the rice. That's good. No plastic or metal. Looks like it's going to slide right out. That's, that's a plus. Looks like some pretty decent short grain rice. That is top quality rice. It really is. Retort pouch rice can be overly glutinous. Stick to the retort pouch and be extremely difficult to remove and you'll lose a lot of it. It's too sticky and a lot of times has a plastic flavor. This does not have that. It has an excellent chew. It's more in the caliber and quality of Japanese ration rice. Pork curry. Ooh. Look at that broth. Just feels so wrong without that metal tray. Anyway, I just want to test it with this thing. Really see how it is. Nice. Wow. That is a beautiful looking dish. I mean, it doesn't look like it came out of a retort pouch, the potato chunks. This looks like food you get at a mall. Beautiful cuts of potato, all irregular shape. The meat does not look overly processed and has good color. Looks natural. This is incredible. Mm. There even seems to be a bit of some kind of like protection like heat protection, a little bit of heat resistance with this paperboard. It's waxed, it's you know waterproofed, it's not gonna get soggy. It's a great one-use tray. The pork has an excellent chew. It's a very light brown gravy. It's super tender, it's fairly lean. There's still a little bit of marbling though, so it actually has flavor. It's not tough. Not bad. The potatoes, it still has a little bit of bite. It's very soft, but it's not mushy. The pork, rice, potato, there are little bits of carrot, I think, but they're just so minuscule that it doesn't matter. Let's go for a full bite. The heat output of that FRH you could heat this up anywhere in the world and eat it real quick. I'm just going right over to that type B. Okay, so right off the bat, you get another one of those energy gels hey look at this they're like ginger jelly candies they're soft and squishy okay so the energy bars again dried cranberries again black peppered beef jerky and another seven packs of biscuits but this time they are chocolate Looking pretty good. All right, let's get sat on to a tray. Nice. Okay, let's first start off with the chocolate biscuits. It smells like chocolate milk. They're just pretty much like the same biscuit as the last, just with chocolate, I believe. And we'll have some chocolate bread pudding for dessert. Go ahead and check out the beef jerky. Nice little hiss. An alluring sweet smell. That is different and does not seem 100% natural, but meat 
The dried cranberries. I don't mind having these again. But it's only my second time. If you're eating them all the time, they might get boring. Kind of like these energy bars. For some reason, I'm, again, still compelled to eat it. Even though it's nearly flavorless. There's just an odd, dull, malt grain flavor. The smell is so much more, but it's not. Kind of like a mirage. Don't know what it is, but I still like them. Maybe it's because they're so small, you don't have to eat that much of it. I'm going to try one biscuit with the chocolate syrup, but I'm likely to save it for chocolate bread pudding. Just one bite with it. Yeah, I had a feeling it gets lost in with the chocolate biscuit. They don't complement each other. Just like chocolate syrup on this, it doesn't work. In the meantime, these biscuits, significantly less flavor than the milk biscuits. It's also a little bit more dry and thirst provoking. Mm. Okay, this is not nearly as palatable as the last dried meat item. It's very high in moisture content for being beef jerky. And, wow, it's like wet. I mean, it tastes okay. I mean, it really does. And if you were starving, this would be amazing. It's really sweet, salty, a little bit spicy. It tastes like it's sweetened with like pineapple juice, a strange, slightly fishy aftertaste. Kind of wash it down with some energy gel, this stuff. Oop. That is a nice chocolate bread pudding. Like seriously, that's pretty much what it is. And let's see if this was a good idea or not. It doesn't even look like a dessert. It looks like beef. That's terrible. All right. And you'd eat it straight out of the pouch, but I just wanted to show it in its full glory. Oh yeah, that. Oh wow, after eating all the biscuits real dry, this actually tastes like something. The biscuits on their own are nearly flavorless, just a light chocolate, and they're just so dry. This is seriously like about the only way to eat them. They don't give you enough chocolate syrup. You, you need like four packs of that stuff to cover all your biscuits if you made bread pudding. A nice gourmet field dessert. The ginger jelly candy, essentially, is what this is, pretty much. Hmm. A chewy, gritty, sticky, little energy boost. And you can eat them real fast. I'm going to save this. And the beef jerky, I'm also going to save this. I'm going to put in a Ziploc baggie and put in my freezer. Wish me luck. That was a pretty decent lunch. Not bad, really covered the bases. In about three or four hours, I'm gonna take it over to dinner. All right, and we're back with dinner. Let's see what's different with this one. Another energy gel. Looks like some other jelly candies, but these are lighter in color. They might be lemon or something else. Hey, look at that. Nuts. Instead of another pack of cranberries, a little bit of variation there. And this is a spiced beef jerky of sorts. Hey, look at that. You get two of them. And this is dried mango. Cool. So this one's significantly different. Chocolate syrup. And these are like a brown sugar. Okay. 
a moist towelette. Not bad. All right, let's get sat on the tray. Nice, okay, let's first start off with, again, checking out some biscuits. Hmm. Whoa, that smells like maple syrup. Let me listen to these things. Just like any other ration, produces a lot of trash. All right, and then the dried mango. Nice fruit. Whoa, that's odorless. Like, I would have expected even just a little bit of smell. Wait. Mm, no. Looking pretty sparse. That's all right, because they give you a big bag of nuts. They feel like little pebbles. That smells extra toasty. That's a real smorgasbord of beans. Are those goji berries? Yeah, there are goji berries and it looks like little soybeans. Let's check out this mysterious beef jerky. Again, it just smells like sweeteners and fruit. I'm gonna eat one of these real quick. I think there was a hiss. When I hope it, hold on one sec. Wait, let me set this down. Oh. Listen to this. Wait. Oh heck, yeah, there little thing. Oh. Did you hear that? I don't know. I think I'm desperate. What are these anyway? Mmm. Oh, that's the best out of the three by far. That's a absolutely delectable, weird little squishy citrus vanilla. A smooth down lemon vanilla soft squishy jelly candy with a slight granulated sugar on the surface it adds a little bit of texture variation and helps bring out the flavor this energy gel i'll wait for when i'm really thirsty which i will be after we eat a whole bunch of biscuits actually these things wait oh that's kind of boring they smell incredible but it smells like some maple syrup and brown sugar but it tastes like well it tastes like it too but it's very light and subtle it's still not bad and it's not as dry as the previous chocolate flavor the chocolate syrup i'm i'm just gonna put it on the biscuits hmm i feel like although the chocolate syrup is great it is a bit of the odd man out on this menu it doesn't pair with the brown sugar biscuits wow this is like wet again look at that this mm. that beef jerky has such a high moisture content that it's concerning i'm not even sure if it's moisture it could be like a glycerin and sugar oh wow that's interesting that has fennel seed and clove that's like spiced beef jerky. Hmm. Very sweet. That is an accentuated sweetness that is synthesized somehow. Definitely not sugar. Hmm. Mixed with a glycerin type substance that moistens the meat without needing actual moisture. So this is some of the most artificial beef jerky. Hmm. That, although it tastes great, it just seems so 
unhealthy and unnatural. Let's check out these beans. They give you a little, oh wow, they're raisins. Okay, a black bean. Hmm, that just tastes like char, like charcoal. Oh, okay, and then this is some kind of little brown bean. I'm not sure, it almost looks like a mini pinto bean or something. Very earthy. Pumpkin seed. That seems normal. Raisins. Hmm. They're very dry and chewy. Oh, interesting, earthy. Deep, rich aftertaste, though. Unique. The peas. Oh, okay. They're not that great. They're really rough on your teeth. Goji berry. High in antioxidants. And that one's really dry. It's like, whoa. All right, let's get a handful of this. I had to get that charcoal flavor out of my mouth. There's just something burnt tasting about that, and it's just a really rough on your teeth. I understand where they're going with nutrition, but the goji berries were too dry. The pumpkin seeds weren't bad, but okay, let's check out some mango. That's just like candy, and it has a light mango flavor, but it's so candy. There's so much sugar that Again, it's just mostly sugar with a little bit of fiber. I need that energy gel. It's actually one of the most amazing pairings with this. Because these are just so dry, you can eat them really quick. And I just, I have a feeling that's kind of how you eat these. save some of these right hmm so these were Taiwanese armed forces field ration type a B and C and then the field heated lunchbox gotta say outside of a couple potential upgrades that they could use some additional morale boosting components for the field rations, I'd say. Some toilet paper, something for dental health, chewing gum, a little toothbrush. Well, anyway, this is Steve1989. I hope you liked the video. And I'll be coming back at you with something new. Or old. Alright, cool. See ya.